Here are our seven best tips for camping with a bad back. Camping can hurt. There's no doubt it's also fun and gets you out in the open air, but it can take a toll on your back and neck. It's not surprising though, you're spending several days in unusual living conditions, sleeping on a different surface and perhaps carrying large packs. So here are our seven tips to prevent back and neck pain whilst camping. Firstly, pack your things into several small bags to spread the weight of the load. Take breaks on the way, whether you're driving or taking a train or coach, and make sure you walk about and stretch where you can. Also, stretch before you pitch the tent. Avoid building up tension in your muscles and don't overreach from your normal range. Also, proceed calmly. There's plenty of time. Rushing is more likely to lead to a back problem because you're bending and lifting awkwardly. So bend at the knees, not the waist when you lift and carry loads close to the body when you're moving the heavy stuff like big bags of uh, um, charcoal or packs of water. Picnic tables and chairs should be stable and of normal height. If you can, raise your stove higher too using a fireproof stable surface because stooping for long periods over a cooking fire can be painful. Also, choose your bedding carefully. The best bedding for a campsite is a thick air-filled mattress. It's going to give you a better night's sleep, of course, and you can look at examples in local camping shops. Also, choose the one with the uh, fabric or memory foam top layer and an electric or battery operated pump because then you don't have so much pumping or blowing to do. Also, avoid waking up with a stiff neck if you can by bringing a favourite pillow. But be wary of stacking it on top of a, um, an integral air-filled support in the mattress already because uh, that will make your uh, neck uh, too high. High pillows are a frequent cause of neck pain, but it's an individual preference as to what works for you, so try a few things out. Too low and it fails to support the head and neck, and that leads to its own problems. A cervical pillow can be a good investment, and these are usually memory foam and are designed with two shallow bumps to support the head and neck separately. They work really well, and you can get travel versions as well, which are much uh, smaller. So finally, have a great trip and don't forget to book in for a checkup with us here at Sundial if you're having any problems. Uh, we can make sure you're mobile and healthy and we're always pleased to see you.